y'all, Willoughby sucks. Like, sucks. <laughs> What's up? My name is Avery and welcome to the start of my classics thon reading vlog. Sorry if it's a little loud in the background. It is really hot in Texas right now, so of course I have my AC cranking because I'm about to head off to work. But um, when I go to work, I like to listen to audiobooks because it takes a little while to get there. And so I finally got my um, audiobook in from the library for Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. And so that's what I'm going to be listening to today and for the next couple days, on the way to work, while at work, that kind of thing. It is actually May 13th, so it's not May 1st. The readathon started on May 1st, but I was reading other things and there was the Scallywagathon that I was participating in and I didn't feel like reading any classics then. And I finally have the audiobook in for this, so it is the perfect time to start Classics of Thon for me. So I'm going to open up my Libby app and start listening to this sucker, and hopefully, I'll love it. Excuse my appearance. I just got out of the shower. <laughs> Today, I made a lot of progress on Sense and Sensibility by Miss Jane Austen. I listened to about, I want to say like two hours of the audiobook. Right now, I'm on page 89. Um, I haven't been reading it physically though. I won't even listening to the audiobook. Sorry, there's like something burning my eye right now. After I finish a couple chapters, I like to go in on Schmoop, which is a website I used back when I took like English literature back in high school. They give a little summary of each chapter in like basically plain old English. <laughs> so I like to go back through those chapters just to get a refresher and to make sure that I am processing all this information correctly because sometimes it might be a little bit hard to understand with this older language. Um, so I do like to go back on Shmoop. I've seen Sense and Sensibility the movie once. That was years ago. And I don't remember anything about it except Kate Winslet ends up marrying Snape from Harry Potter or the actor from Snape from Harry Potter. That's the one thing that I remember. This book I will say is going by really, really, really fast. The audiobook is really great. I'm really, really, really enjoying it. And I hope to finish this audiobook soon. I'm going to be listening to it throughout the week. So maybe I'll finish it by the end of the week. We'll see. Hey y'all, it's a couple days later. I haven't been updating just because the majority of me reading slash listening to this book uh, has been audio for the past three days while I've been at work. So I haven't really been able to do any like live reaction talking things updating i don't know um but i just got off of work early and i'm on my way home to go to the gym but i wanted to talk for a second i just had to pause my audiobook i'm on chapter 27 i'm halfway through almost of sense and sensibility i just gotta say willoughby is like a shady piece of crap <laughs> Uh, I don't know if people are familiar with Sense and Sensibility, but I the only thing that I know about it is from the movie that I watched years ago. I just remember Kate Winslet being like infatuated with this man named Willoughby, but then something else happens. I don't want to spoil. But basically she was just infatuated with this person. So I always wondered like, oh, like what happened to him? And like I'm reading this book, I'm like, Willoughby is such a shady shit. Like, what is going on? I think both women both sisters we have Marianne and um, Eleanor and both of the guys that they're interested in are shady pieces of poop <laughs> uh, like I don't mm, they both deserve better like they both are infatuated with these men who are like kind of like both of them are ghosting them <laughs> if we're talking like <laughs> current terms both of them have like shown interest in them and they're basically ghosting both of them which irks me so much <laughs> i am loving mrs jennings she is so funny and like like a grandma gossip and i love it i love colonel brandon like he's so nice and sweet and then marianne like gives him the cold shoulder all the time because he's like 35 and thinks he's ancient. <laughs> She's like 17 
and this 35 year old man has a crush on her and she goes he's literally like a grandfather like he's so freaking old like hell no but he's like the sweetest man and she's like she's not giving him the benefit of the doubt at all y'all willoughby sucks like sucks oh my god oh my god oh my god this is horrible i don't know if this is a spoiler i don't know just willoughby sucks but uh i'm on chapter i think i want to say like 34 maybe 36 i don't know willoughby is like horrible the only thing i can like relate him to is like wickham I think his name's Wickham from Pride and Prejudice. I don't know what the F is going on with Edward right now. Like, he's doing some shady, shady crap. I'm really, really, really enjoying myself, I will say. I just want a better life for Eleanor and Marianne. Because they've gone through some a tough stuff. Uh, Eleanor's going through all this boy trouble, man trouble, whatever. And she keeps it all to herself so she doesn't burden the other people in her family with this information but it's like girl you need somebody to talk to talk to somebody i just i really want to know what happens in the end and i'm already planning on after i finish this book watching the movie again because that needs to happen as soon as possible hey y'all it is later in the day and i finished sense and sensibility by jane austen i really 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 enjoy myself i did though end up giving this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars just because the ending wrapped up everything a little too quickly i would have loved to see a little more from the ending i would have loved to know more about what happened after the book like it needed like an epilogue you know what i mean or it just needed more substance to it and like we were like told things instead of like shown them in the ending like oh in the end so and so did this and so and so married so and so i was like but i wanted to see that <laughs> but other than that really good it was really funny really relatable at times when it comes to guys because <laughs> you don't know who's with who sometimes you don't know what they're doing they're ghosting you they're not showing affection towards you one moment but then another moment they are i think it's kind of even relevant to today's age this book <laughs> but anyways i am about to rent the movie as i really 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 want to watch the movie because it's been years and i'm really excited it stars kate winslet emma thompson and alan rickman i believe from Harry Potter, Severus Snape from Harry Potter. I'm really, really excited, so I'm gonna go do that right now because it's already 10 o'clock at night, so I might be staying up late to finish this movie. Hi y'all, it is actually a couple days since my last clip. It is today, the 22nd of May. I ended up finishing the Sense and Sensibility movie that night. I really enjoyed it. They obviously left out some major key things that were in the book that I think should have been in the movie. I haven't picked up another classic yet, and it's not the end of the month yet, but I, I got in my second half of Little Women in from my Libby app, finally. Um, so I'm going to be listening to that starting today or tomorrow because I just finished listening to my current audio read, um, but it wasn't a classic so I'm not going to talk about it here. Hello, it is the next day. I have been listening to Little Women. I am halfway through the last half of Little Women. So technically 75 of the way through the whole book 
<laughs> but right now it's not really following the same plot line as the movie that I'm used to so I'm excited to learn how they are different in that so I have around four hours left of this audiobook so I'm probably gonna finish it in the next couple of days hey y'all it's Emmy I honestly have no idea when um, my last update was like at all it's been a couple days maybe like over three and last night I finished Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. My library audiobook was <laughs> expiring again the third time I downloaded it from my library and waited for it. It was about to expire again and I was like are you kidding me I have four hours left I just need to knock it out so last night I finished it listened to it while coloring and writing scripture in my Bible just listening to Little Women. It was so good. I honestly think that I am biased though. I know that this book is probably boring to some people and they don't really care. I just loved it. And that's saying a lot because this is set in like the 1800s America and I hate books set in that time period. I hate those kinds of books. I hate historical fiction books set in America. I cannot stand them. They're so boring. They're not like as fun as some other historical books out there. Just America was so boring back then and really stupid to be honest with you. So I don't like reading about old American books or America in the past. That's not my cup of tea. This is the exception. But to be honest, I just think that I'm biased because I love the movie so so much a reason why i really loved this book is because we got a little bit of more of a slice of their lives like in the movie you can only put so much in a movie or even the musical that i watched you can only put so much in musical and a movie and even like the mini series bbc mini series that i've seen you can only put so much in those and then finally i read this book and i got the full detailed lives of these women and it's even more in detail than the movie and it's what I wanted like you get to see into their lives of being married and having children and oh my god I loved that part so much <laughs> hi you want a ball bring me the ball <laughs> I really enjoyed this really loved it five out of five stars for sure I am really excited for the new version coming out on Christmas Day of 2019 there's one new one I believe with Meryl Streep and Emma Watson coming out in, during Christmas time and I cannot wait for that you best believe I will be there like midnight screening for sure does not matter if it's Christmas for me I'm seeing that on release day I'm so glad that I read this because I just got like I love like Joe and Amy and all the girls but like you get more into their lives in this book than you did in the movie. And I loved that so much. As for the other reads that I have for Classics of Thon, it is May 28th, and I pretty much know that I'm not going to read anything else for Classics of Thon. I read two huge classics this month, and I'm very proud of myself for that. I normally put classics off, so I feel like Classics of Thon really pushed me to read the books that I think I was too scared to read. So very grateful for that because this book is like 800 pages. Thought maybe of reading The Great Gatsby, but I'm just not in the mood for it right now. And if I'm not in the mood for it, I'm not going to force myself to read it, you know? So I guess I will update y'all when the month ends. Hey y'all, it is a while later. It is a couple weeks, week later, maybe? I don't know, but it is June 5th. So it is way past the ending for classic Sethon. So I'm going to talk about what I read during the month of May for classic Sethon. So firstly, I finished Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. This is the one Jane Austen book that I've been dying to read. I really want to read all of them, but this is the one that I've been wanting to read the most since I've already read Emma and Pride and Prejudice. And I really did enjoy this book. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. The only gripe that I have about this book is that I feel like there should have been more to the ending because I wanted to get more of a glimpse into their lives after the end. Like, I won't spoil anything, but for example, like, we're told, oh, so-and-so ends up marrying 
so-and-so. I wanted to see that and I wanted to see their lives. I just feel like there should have been more added to the end. But I still loved this and I love the movie so much. <laughs> and the last book that I read for Classics at Thon was Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, the second half of it at least. I read the first half of it I believe back in March. I think March. The audiobook service that I use ended up splitting up both parts of the book. So I already listened to part one back in March and I was waiting on the audiobook for part two. And I had it expire like twice because I didn't have time to get to it but I finally time to get to it in the month of May and I love this book so much it is a five out of five stars for me and it's because there's so much to the ending like you get to see into these women's lives and their married lives and their children's lives and I love that. <laughs> um, there were points I will say where it was a little boring here and there there were scenes that I don't think were needed but I think I'm biased <laughs> As I've said many times in this video, I just love these characters so much. Most classics that I read, like, of course, deal with romance and, like, people getting married at the end. That happens a lot in classics. And this is the only romance classic book that I've read where, like, you get a glimpse into married life, and I love it. <laughs> so, of course, yes, five out of five stars. So, I read two pretty chunky books in May for classics at thon so I'm really proud of myself that I ended up finishing two of these and I didn't really read anything else, which I'm fine with. I am just so glad I got these two books knocked off of my TBR shelf because look how big both of them are. So I would say I had a really successful readathon, I gotta say. Um, please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to, what are your thoughts on them? And if you participated in Classics Thon, be sure to let me know because I'd love to chat with you about it. And I'd love to see your video if you posted a video about Classics Thon. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see y'all soon with a new video. Bye! <laughs>